SAT test one, non-calculator question number nine. College Board gives you a system of equations and asks for the solution x, y to the system. By solution, they mean values of x and y that make both equations true. The easiest way to solve this is to substitute in the values in the choices. So if x is negative five and y is negative two, three x plus four y is three times negative five plus four times negative two, which is negative 15, minus eight is negative 23. So that worked. Let's try point B in the same equation. Three times x is three times three, plus four times y is four times negative eight, that's nine minus 32 equals negative 23. That worked also. How about the third one? Three times four, plus four times negative six. That's 12 minus 24, which is not negative 23. So choice C is wrong. And choice D, three times X is three times nine, plus four times Y is four times negative six. 27 minus 24 is not negative 23. So choice D is wrong. Now I'm going to go to the second equation with choice A. Twice y is twice negative two. Minus x is minus negative five is plus five. That is negative four plus five equals one. That doesn't sound right. How about choice B in equation two? Twice y is twice negative eight, minus x is minus three. Negative 16 minus three equals negative 19. Choice B worked, the other three choices did not. Certainly when they give you the x and y coordinates, the fastest way is often to substitute in those values in each equation. Alternatively, I can solve this algebraically, and you often have to use the algebraic solutions, particularly for grid in, but they also often say what is the value of x by itself, or what is the value of y by itself, which you can substitute those in, but they may say x plus y or x minus y, and then substitution of the answer choices does not work. For an algebraic answer, Let's solve the second equation for x. 2y minus x equals negative 19. Add x to both sides. 2y equals x minus 19. Add 19 to both sides. 2y plus 19 equals x. I'm going to substitute this in for x in the first equation which gives me 3x is 3 times 2y plus 19 plus 4y equals negative 23. Distributing to both terms, 3 times 2y is 6y, 3 times 19 is 57 plus 4y equals negative 23. Subtract 57 from both sides and I get 6y plus 4y is 10y. 57 minus 23 is negative 80 divided by 10. y equals negative 8. Since b is the only answer choice where y equals negative 8 is an option, b is the correct answer again. I could also solve this by linear combination, but that's enough for this question. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.